Right, it's just a few minutes after 5 a.m. and we are now taking a hike a couple of kilometres down to a cliff to watch the sunrise and if we're very lucky we might even have to see the clouds. Right, here we are. We're arriving at the cliff. It's quite fortunate actually we've got the city lights down there which could keep just walking, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> There's a sort of sea of clouds, but we're drowning in it. <laughs> Well, in all honesty, it was a bit of an anti-climax. <laughs> it had its moments, but at the moment, all we're looking forward to is going to get some breakfast. So we're going to head back. Now. This is the uh, the same cliff that we come to yesterday evening towards the sunset. Last the sun's starting to break through, I actually feel a bit of warmth. <laughs> sure it looks like this might break off one day <laughs> and tumble down. Right, in the space of about 10 minutes, it suddenly turned into a nice sunny day. Beautiful. So no more cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this perimeter trail really is nice. It's really pleasant with all these viewpoints and everything. And uh, and right now with the sun coming through and after that cold start to today, it really is a treat, really enjoying it. Oh, 
this one. Pa, pa, yep, meg. Which means like the treading on clouds cliff. Oh, wow. Right, yeah. now this was the one the lady at the restaurant told me that it's been known to see herds of elephants on the next level down. So, let's see. I, I remember thinking mm -hmm. that, that name doesn't ring a bell and this is it. So, let's have a look. Right. Let's see if there's anywhere oh, where yeah. herds of elephants could hang out down below. could yeah it's held down that would be something yeah at that vantage point yeah that would be something wouldn't it having that herd of elephants down there hey that would be something to see so do you have i'll call them quite happy come crap from rian magon ขอโทษครับมีคนบอกผมว่าเมื่อก่อนเขามีช้างเป็นฝูงใช่แรงนี่เลยบุ้ยข้างล่างมันน่าจะหากินไปเรื่อยๆแล้วล่ะครับมองมองดูไปเรื่อยๆตามหน้าผาครับใต้หน้าผานะครับเข้าใจครับจะเจอปล่อยมาครับเจอปล่อยจริงจริงเหรอผมคิดว่าแปลงที่มันจะเป็นแบบแห่งแห่งเดียวแล้วเขาไม่เห็นเลยเดี๋ยวเดือนหน้านี่แทบทุกวันเลยอยู่ใต้หน้าผาเนี่ยโอเคขอคืนครับนะเราจะหาไม่รู้ว่าจะเจอหรือเปล่าใช่ไหมหาไปเรื่อยๆหาดูจริงนะครับโอเคโอเคเขาจะหักไม้พุ่มพุ่มพุ่มพุ่มพุ่มอยู่โอเคพาแดงริดคลิฟsteep cliff almost overhanging that's the furthest we're playing on walking long sap cliff as you turn off kilometers and then we will walk back to the campsite a long way but we'll cut inland we've walked nearly seven kilometers already Right, we're now at Lomsac Cliff, which is nine kilometers away from the campsite. It's quite a distance and it's known for two things. One is that it's got a great view of the sunset, so people come here to see that. And the other thing it's famous for is, it's got this overhang rock <laughs> that I'm on now. Right, every couple of kilometers they've got these places we can stop and have uh, something to eat or a cold drink. Uh, 16 baht is a mark price, we've been charged 40, but uh, <laughs> consider it a bargain under the circumstances. That's right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> right, at this point we're gonna cut inland 
and make our way back to the camp. So I think it's about the same distance, maybe even a teeny bit longer, but we're gonna do it inland, getting some different sights. <laughs> about four or five days old it doesn't look very fresh but it smells it, fresh it, it does indeed so, uh, we may not have <laughs> i'll put, put something in there you should <laughs> give it a sense of scale i was just thinking you know up here it's so high up on this plateau that it's like its own uh, micro environment and i'm looking around you know the, the, the uh with the trees and the, and the plants around me now and it's almost like something from the new forest in the uk you know it's that kind of uh it's that kind of terrain you know and you've got the uh, the ferns like the bracken you've got pine needles on the ground you know it's, it's not very typical of what you usually see in Thailand at all right we're getting very near now to one of the waterfalls at the top of Pukadung but I'm pretty almost certain there's not going to be any water. There's only, I don't know if it's going to be anything at all, really. But we'll have a quick look just in case. Are we lucky that it's not the rainy season? Look at that. I feel, almost feel my feet sinking in now. Dark pond, which has actually got water in it still, which surprises me.
We're within a kilometre of camp now and we've just found the electric fence that's been put up to keep elephants out. If you look, if you look at the height of it, like people and other animals can walk through it, but uh, it definitely stop adult elephants. Right, that's it, back at the campsite. And we are hungry. So we're gonna head straight past the tent. Something to eat. This has been the place where we've had all our meals. Very nice that you've taken. Right, we're here at quite a busy campsite at the top of Pukradu. It's our last night, we're going to hike out in the morning, we're going to hike back down the mountain. It's going to be a very cold night. Uh, it's cloudless, which is nice because you can see all the stars, but cloudless nights are always colder. Yeah. So uh, we, we think, we've been talking with the, with the lady here who runs a little restaurant, and uh, we both think it's going to be get down to about 7 centigrade, which is... I mean, the sun just went down. It's 17 degrees now, and it's yeah. cold already. It's going to be cold. <laughs> so, I'm doing something I haven't done for about 20 years. I'm having a, a hot oval tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Ready. Do it. <laughs> 